Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation, log of x equal to square root of log of x power 13 divided by 6 minus 1. In other words, we are going to solve for x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to do since we are dealing with the square root let's go ahead and undo this square root by taking the square on both sides of this equation then our this equation is simply is going to become on the left hand side log of x whole power 2 equals to on the right hand side this square and square root they undo each other so we simply got log of x power 13 over 6 minus 1 and now let's recall this power rule according to this power rule this exponent of this x we are going to move it all the way to the front so therefore our right hand side could be written as 13 divided by 6 log of x minus 1 and the left hand side is going to stay same and here's our next step to make our job easier let me go ahead and make a substitution let me go ahead and call this log of x equals to a and likewise this log of x equals to a as well so what we are doing is we are putting a equal to simply log of x so therefore after substitution this left hand side is going to become a square equal to 13 divided by 6 times a minus 1 and now let's go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 6 across the board with each and every term and here we can see this left hand side is going to become 6a square equals to this 6 and 6 is gone so we ended up with 13a minus 1 times 6 is 6 now let's go ahead and move everything to the left hand side so this is simply is going to become 6a square minus 13 a plus 6 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring and now let's focus on this middle part negative 13a i am going to tweak this one i can write this one as negative 4a minus 9a and here we can see in the first two terms we can see that 2a is in common in this second two terms we can see negative 3 is in common so therefore we can write this one as 2a is a factor outside 3a minus 2 and here i'm going to factor out negative 3 and we are ended up with 3a minus 2 equal to 0 now we can see that 3a minus 2 and 3a minus 2 they are in common so we are going to factor out uh, 3a minus 2 and then times 2a minus 3 equal to 0 and now let's go ahead and separate them i can write 3a minus 2 equal to 0 and the other side is going to be 2a minus 3 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and add 2 on both sides on this equation. This is gone. So we ended up with 3a equals to 2. Or simply, if we divide both sides by 3, a turns out to be 2 third. Now let's focus on this next equation. Let's add 3 on both sides. Here negative 3 and positive 3 is gone so 2a turns out to be 3 and if we divide both sides by 2 a turns out to be 3 over 2 and here in this next step i wrote down these two values of a a equals to 2 over 3 and here a equals to 3 over 2 and we know that a is equal to log of x 
So therefore, this very first equation is simply is going to become log of x equal to 2 over 3. And this second equation is going to become log of x equal to 3 divided by 2. And now we see that there is a no base given over here. This one no base. So whenever the base is missing, by default the base is 10. And we call this kind of log as a common log. Let's write down our base as 10 over here and likewise base 10 over here as well. And now in this next step, we are going to convert these logarithmic form into exponential form by using this well-known formula. So therefore, this very first equation could be written as x equal to 10 power 2 over 3. And likewise, on this equation, this could be written as x equal to 10 power 3 over 2 and these are our two solutions so thus our solutions turned out to be x equal to 10 power 2 over 3 and the other one is 10 power 3 over 2 or if we convert into a decimal notation x is approximately equal to 4.642 and the other value is uh, 31.623 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye